So I was born in Lagos and I lived here off and on until I was about 16 and then I moved to the UK and I've not been back since then, which was about 15 years ago. So when I got the opportunity to be involved with Diesel in Studio Africa, of course, like my first idea was we have to shoot a video in Lagos. So we're going to shoot the story about um, Olumengas coming home. It's a cinematic version of actually him coming home, but it's a true story because he hasn't been home for a long time. So I actually want to reintroduce him to Lagos, to where he used to know, where he grew up, and, and, then, and then also people can discover Lagos through his eyes and through my eyes. Working with uh, Andy, our director, he's a, as much of a character as I was expecting him to be. But the element of Studio Africa that appealed to me the most was the idea that the way that you help countries that are kind of in a less fortunate position economically is not by giving aid, it's just by actually encouraging people to invest and making links between people in the West and people in these countries. There are a lot of people who are doing really great art, really great fashion, and they just need an opportunity, like they need those links and they need people to invest um, to kind of take things to the next level. So the end, I think this guy has been talking about Lagos, going to be ending on a bus stop. We had this guy is going to DJ. When I was initially thinking about making this video, one of the things I wanted to counteract was the negative portrayal of Africa in the Western media. I think the idea behind Studio Africa is a very positive one, positive portrayal of what's happening in Africa. This was a very, very different experience, and I really hope that it's the start of me being able to work in Nigeria like a lot more often because that's something that would make me really happy.